I'd like to talk to you today about hygienic process valves as used in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries. Here we have a standard hygienic diaphragm valve. The design of these valves has not changed in the last 50 years. Berkeley came up with the tube valve, which is an alternative design, but instead of being manufactured from a large piece of stainless steel, it's manufactured from a single piece of tube and is a lot lighter and smaller than a conventional hygienic diaphragm valve. One of the issues you have with the diaphragm valve is that it is purely a two-way valve, and if you want to get some sort of divert function, you have to join two diaphragm valves together in a manner such as this. Unfortunately, that creates a dead volume. If this is water, the water, when left there, can become contaminated with bacteria. But if it's product, that is a waste product and a loss of money. Burkett's alternative was to redesign the diaphragm valve to produce this two-wheel diaphragm valve, which we call our Roblox valve. This is achieved by having two wheels which can be independently opened and closed. The valve can have either a pneumatic actuator or a hand wheel. A diaphragm is fitted across the bottom of the actuator, which seals both of the wheels. And then each of the wheels can be opened and closed independently. We can have flow in this direction, or we can have flow in this direction. And all of a sudden you have a three-way valve instead of a conventional two-way valve. With this format, we can start to add more and more seats to a smaller block of stainless steel. In fact, it's quite possible to have two, four, six, eight, even ten valve seats on a single valve block using this double wear Robolux valve solution. That kind of solution is just not attainable with a conventional single wear two-way diaphragm valve. We've taken the conventional diaphragm valve, we've made changes to it, we've made developments to it, and we've produced a valve solution now which is much more compact, reduces internal volume and waste, reduces energy consumption, and is a much better fit for a modern, hygienic, pharmaceutical or biotechnology processing plant.